and I come at you, you better not duck me, son. You better not duck me, son. I'm telling you. But I'm telling you right yeah, now. No, yeah, I, man, and Dante, Dante, yo, thank you for your work. I think you, I think guys like you, I think guys like Boxer Ego. I, I'm glad I don't got to look at any other journalists, any other old media, any other old media journalists, any other... HBO journalist, Dan Raphael, and none of that as a source. And I got people like y'all, yeah, you know. I need, we need, Boston need people like y'all, yeah, of course. We need, we need yeah. people like y'all. Yeah, Thank you, brother. You know? and, and that's if what. If it ain't y'all, then boxing ain't really, uh, boxing ain't really, like, who's going to tell the truth? Who's going to tell? Everybody's going to be um, hypocrite -ish and stuff like that. And, and, and what you just said right now, bro, is exactly why new media is here. What you just said right now, man. Yep. Hashtag, man. It's new media or no media. Hey, man, thanks for your call, man. I, I appreciate you. All right, man? Thank you, man. All right. Thanks, thank, and thanks, thanks for the love. All right. So, so, so yeah, Gustavo. So that, that that was a whole lot right there, man. But uh, but anyway, before we, before we take another call, I see the phone lines are starting to fill in right now. Before we take another call, uh, let's switch gears um, real quick. Um, hey, you... Um, you were um, telling me about the um, about the Thurman versus Zab Judah fight. So um, you, yes, you, you, yes. you told me a long time ago about this, Gustavo. Now it's looking I like that's, it's more of a reality now. Talk about that. Well, I, I reported this to you like six, seven months ago. This was when um, Thurman was supposed to return in May. I think it was on May 19 at the Barclays. And then I was hearing from, you know, uh, credible sources and, you know, people that I know with Thurman, they were saying, oh, you know, he might take the, the, the Zab Judah fight. I'm starting to think Zav Judah, but like, you know, I'm not trying to play Zav Judah, but, you know, he's not the level he was before, but, you know, he's still a name. He's still a good fighter. And then, you know, I, I actually have an interview with Zav Judah when uh, it was at, in the Brooklyn Kings Theater. It was a real deal fight. And I asked him, oh, you know, there's been rumors about Thurman. And he sounded confident with like, oh, no, there's no such thing. But then I was like, oh, but if it was, um, if it was asked for you, like, you know, would you take the fight? He's like, oh, hell yeah, I'll take the fight. Like, I wouldn't even hesitate to take the fight. So that was, you know, that was interview was like probably like five months ago too. And then I started hearing it more often. You know, I started hearing it on, on Twitter, IG, and, you know, a lot of credible sources. Now I'm starting to think. And then I don't know if you've seen a post from actually from Zab Judah. I think he wrote, oh, I can't wait to become, uh, I'm, I'm aiming to become a six-time uh, world champion. And then it just, you know, you know, when it's like puzzles. You start puzzling in together. And I'm like, Thurman's going to return soon. You need to tune up fight. Not to say that, you know, like I said, that, that would be a, a great tune up fight. That would be a great yeah. tune up fight, especially out there in Brooklyn. That would be big in Brooklyn. Together. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I say, I'm like, that, yeah, if, if Thurman does come back, <laughs> it's either Zab Judah. Now, somebody was telling me too the other day, um, uh, Jose Dito Lopez, but I think it's going to be Zab Judah. It, it makes sense. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. And when I talked to Zab Judah um, last week um, at the Box Fan Expo, um, he told me he wanted Danny Garcia. He said he wanted the rematch with Danny Garcia because I was asking him about, um, you know, Garcia and Errol Spence and everybody in the welterweight division. Zab said he wanted Danny Garcia. I mean, I still think Gustavo uh, Thurman versus Jesse Vargas would still be in a good fight. But um, oh yeah, that was, that, that's a that's a better fight. Um, I, I feel like I feel with, with I like the fight personally, right? With with Zab Judah and Keith Thurman, but I feel like people are going to be very critical to the point where. They're gonna. I for me, I think they're gonna compare this fight to like Danny Garcia versus uh, out of his prime Eric Morales. That's how I feel. Which one, the so Zab Judah fight? People, yeah, like like if, if I was compared to Keith Thurman versus Zab Judah, I think people are gonna be very critical, and they might just be like, "Oh, this is gonna be like another Danny Garcia trying to pick on a, out of his prime Eric Morales." We know well, he had the two fights with Eric Morales. That's what I feel. No, I might no, be wrong, right? No, no, no it's, it's not, and there's nothing wrong with feeling that way. Um, I personally believe because it's his first fight back. Um, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Um, obviously, he's going to be a, a heavy favorite. You know, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I would have had a problem. Now, I would have had a problem if Keith Thurman would have kept his belt and 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 he and he was doing this. I know he still has one of the belts, but if you know, but if he if he kept if he kept that other belt and he was doing this, you know, I, I think I would have just a little bit more of a problem with it. But um, the fact that, you know, it, it's his first fight. It's his first fight back. It's, and it's, it's, and it's just... And it's, it's really just, interesting, too. It's really interesting, too, now that you mention it, right? Zav Judas is South Pole. The last time Keith Thurman fought a South Pole, he actually struggled. Um, Leonard Bundu, the one that Errol Spence handled easy with ease. Uh -huh, Leonard uh -huh. Bundu. 
Yeah, so it's and, gonna be and, Col- and Colazzo too, and Colazzo too. You know, oh, yeah, so. you're right, you're right. There you go. Yeah, I was wrong now, yeah. But yeah. it's yeah. gonna be interesting though. South Paul, I think his style is different than Colazzo, so it's gonna be. It's gonna be interesting. He might have a hard night. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, if Zab shows up, if Zab because you know oh. we we seen Zab show up. I forget the guy he beat, but I remember when people thought that Zab's career was done, and he ended up beating um the undefeated guy. I forgot his name, but he ended up beating the undefeated guy that you saw his fight on ESPN. The guy was good. He was supposed to destroy Zab. Zab ended up beating him, and um that that undefeated guy's his career was was over. It was some. Some light skinned brother, I forgot his name, man. But he was good. He was okay. real good. But anyway, I, I'll figure it out. But anyway, so yeah, if, if he shows up, but if the Zab Judah that fought against, you know, Paulie Malinazzi shows up, then it's going to be a horrible fight. Even even at this point, I think anything that Keith Thurman does that that does not include Errol Spence, I think he's gonna he's gonna get you know criticized. So I just feel like he's just gonna get criticized regardless if it if it's not Errol Spence at this point. Well, I'm a, well, I'm I'm gonna say this, Gustavo. If Keith Thurman does not fight Errol Spence before his career is over, then he's really going to get criticized. But I, yeah, I, I, I don't believe he's going to really get that criticized. But we'll find out. Anything is possible. I think people right now may, may just be happy to see um, Keith Thurman back and just be curious to see how he's going to look. I mean, you know, j- just just him in there with a name. You know, I think it'll be pretty interesting. Just him in there with a name. I think it'll be pretty interesting. You know, so. We'll see, man. We'll see what happens. I, I can't wait to see how he's going to look. So, yeah. With that, too, brother. He's a, he's a good guy, man. So, you know, we, we can only hope for the best of all these fighters, man. We, we want what's up to them, you know? Absolutely, man. Uh, DBN Radio um, special guest panelist, my man, Gustavo, uh, with AB Boxing News. He's a reporter out there in New York. He's repping with me tonight. You guys can call in. I'm going to go to the phone lines in a minute. 